Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the anatomy of the heart valves. So these are the four valves that lie within the heart. So if this is a heart, I'm going to take a section through here and we're going to view the heart from this angle. This way we should be able to see all the four valves of the heart. So let me just draw this up quickly. Now just note that the left is on the right and the right is on the left. And I've done this to match up with the previous video on the anatomy of the heart in which we looked at the heart from the anterior aspect. So here's our first valve here. And this is the mitral valve. It's also known as the bicuspid valve because it has two cusps. It lies between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And so here, we're actually looking into the left atrium. This valve here, with three cusps, is called the tricuspid valve, and it lies in the right atrium, and it serves as the valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. Now down here we have the pulmonary valve and it lies between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. And then just above it here we have the aortic valve which lies between the left ventricle and the aorta. Now arising from the aorta, actually within the cusps of the aortic valve arise the right and left coronary arteries. So here we have the left coronary artery. And over here, we have the right coronary artery. And these are the arteries that supply blood to the heart itself. Now, if I take a cut through this heart here, right through the center of this valve, and we look at the heart from this angle here, we should see something like this. So here is the tricuspid valve. And from the leaflets of the tricuspid valve, or from the three cusps, are these chordae tendinii. And this is Latin for heart strings, which is kind of cute. And then attached to these heart strings are the papillary muscles. Now when the heart contracts, these papillary muscles keep the tension on the chorda tendinii and prevent the valves from prolapsing into the atria and in this way, they prevent regurgitation. If for any reason there is a rupture of these chordae tendinae, or the papillary muscles, then regurgitation will occur. And of course, this is just the ventricle wall here. And that's an overview of the anatomy of the heart valves. For more free tutorials, and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com